What sorcery is this, you might be wondering? Well, it's an LCD screen on a fan, because apparently LEDs are not enough anymore. These are the TL LCD fans from Lee & Lee, with a cool LCD screen on a motor hub that can show computer info, such as temperature, load or fan speed, but you can also put a GIF image here, a static image or a video as well. But fancy things aside, are they any good with the performance? Looking for affordable Windows or Office keys? Look no further, I got you covered. Head over to scdkey.com, pick your Windows edition, use my discount code LE25 to get a 25% on any Windows or Office products. Once you complete your order, after a few seconds, you will receive your code. In Windows, go to Settings, there should be an Activate Windows prompt at the bottom. Click that, enter your code, and wait for Windows to finish activation. To check the activation status, use the command prompt with a command SLMGR dot vbs slash xpr and you should receive a notification that the machine is permanently activated. Once again, use code LE25 at scdkey.com. So let's start with the TL fans. Right from the start, there are the regular and reverse blade fans available. So I think that there is no need to explain what a reverse blade fan is. It's good that Lee and Lee thought about this right from the start. So if you choose these fans, you can have a PC looking good in no time. Fans are 28 mm thick. This increase in thickness is good for the better airflow and less noise as well. What is also good is that you can still use the 25 mm screws since holes are recessed a bit to fit the standard screws. Not only that, holes are also covered with rubber to hide the screw heads. The Unifan TL fans feature a 9-blade design made of a liquid crystal polymer or the LCP material which helps the blades maintain their shape while spinning at high speeds and allowing the fan blades to extend closer to the fan frame. This strong material also eliminates unwanted vibration. These fans are 0 to 2600 RPM speed fans with a max noise of only 33 decibels, insanely fast and insanely quiet at the same time. 120 mil variants are able to push 90.1 CFM of airflow and produce 3.97 mm H2O of static pressure. While the 140 mil fans go up to 1800 RPM with slightly higher airflow of 103.9 CFM, but slightly lower static pressure due to their size, which is 2.34 mm of H2O pressure. Reverse fan blades do have slightly different speed range and performance as well, which you can see on the screen as well. All of them are using the fluid dynamic bearings, which reduce the internal friction and allows them to go fast and be quiet as well. The interlocking pins for daisy chaining these fans are similar as with the previous Unifan generations, slightly rounded this time, also completely removable for a nicer and cleaner look. But the best thing so far is the connection cable which has both male and female pins on it and can be used on either fan side or cluster of fans. So this leaves you the option to have a much neater cable management in the end as you can pick a side where you will route the cables. Pure win if you ask me. As a bonus, there is a locking cap as well for the other side if you do not use that, so there won't be any accidental pin shortenings. The Unifan TL controller can support up to 10 fans on a single port in a fully loaded O11D EVO, for example. This means you can have your rear, top side and bottom fans all daisy chained with a single wire. Each cluster can be joined together with an extension cable, of course. When connecting 10 fans to one port, you are advised to use the 6-pin PSU cable that is available on the controller for the power for LEDs to be at max level. So a maximum of 10 can be supported per controller. As always with Unifans, there must be RGB. This time it's in a form of infinity mirror, like with the infinity fans. And I like to call these the successor to the SL infinity fans. But in fact, these are completely different series, hence the TL in the name. Anyhow, a large infinity mirror is found on both sides of the frame and it is accompanied by a diffused RGB strip that wraps around the edges of the anti-vibration pads. The lightning style offers continuous effect when connected in clusters as there is not a single millimeter of gap now. The top and bottom LEDs are also divided into separate zones which can be individually controlled with the L-Connect software of course. Each fan features 26 LEDs, 13 per light zone. As usual, L-Connect 3 is used for fan speed control and RGB control, of course. I won't go into details here apart from some new stuff like the built-in IC in each fan, so the software now can recognize if it is a 120 or 140 mil fan and adjust the speed curves accordingly. 
But let's talk about the LCD variant now, it's a bit of a different monster. Apparently the most obvious difference is the LCD screen, this is 1.6 inch 400 by 400 pixels IPS screen I would say, as it's viewable from different angles without any issues. Same 28mm thickness, same features for mounting the fans, but what is different from the regular TL fans aside the LCD of course is the performance. These are slightly weaker fans, 0 to 1900 RPM speed for the 120mm fan size, 62 CFM of airflow, 2.9mm of static pressure and around 27 decibels of noise. The 140mm fans go up to 1600 RPM but can achieve higher static pressure of 3.5mm H2O and 68.1 CFM airflow but with slightly higher noise of 28.5 decibels. The reverse fans are again slightly slower respectfully due to the blade design. Also, the LCD fans connect only on one side and their cable is not a dual male and female cable, but as on the TL cable you have the option to route the cable to either left or right side. The Unifan TL LCD controller can support up to 6 LCD fans simultaneously, with each port being capable of hosting up to 3 Unifan TL LCD fans. And you can mix TL and TL LCD fans and when mixing them in fan groups up to 6 LCD fans and 10 regular TL fans can be connected to the same controller. Users can mix TL and TL LCD fan groups, not interconnecting individual fans by the way, so no TL plus TL LCD together, but separate separate TL or TL LCD fan clusters only, so you can have a great balance of performance and aesthetic customization. Once again, RGB is the same as on the TL fans, as Infinity Mirror it has 26 LEDs in two zones, so 13 LEDs in each zone. You can have a JPEG or PNG static image displayed on these screens or a dynamic image via the GIF images, or you can use MP4 videos here as well. Each LCD screen in a cluster of fans can be separately controlled and set differently or you can sync all of them together at the same time. What I like the most here are these sensor options like this here, so you can display CPU or GPU temperature load and fan RPM as well and each of them are customizable with two styles for now and of course different color choices is up to you. Don't worry about fan orientation in case since you can rotate the image in the software as well. Same as before with the Unifans, you can create custom fan curves for each cluster of fans in your system and you can set them to follow either a CPU or GPU as a source for its temperature, I mean speed curve. This way you can have bottom fans set to follow the GPU temperature as a source and supply it with fresh air according to its temperature and you can have side or top fans set to the CPU temperature so they can follow the CPU accordingly. Of course, as before, you have the option to use your motherboard for speed control as well, but I suggest that you do not do that and you use the Elconnect 3 software instead, as it offers much more precise control and of course the ability to choose from CPU or GPU as a temperature source. So where do I see the use of these fans? The TL fans are great as intake or exhaust fans on the case, but also on an AIO. I would only use LCD fans maybe on a side of a case on an AIO, but that is if you use TL fans as intake mixed in a push-pull config. This would give you a mix of high performance with LCD screens with reverse fans on the front of an AIO. That is if you mount it on a side of a case, of course, but of course the choice is yours and it might also depend on your budget because here are the prices of these fans. The TL120 regular ones are 32.99 for a single pack, 109.99 for a 3 pack with a controller, the 140mm fans are only available as a single pack fans and go for 35.99. The reverse fans share the same prices as well. On the other hand, LCD fans are slightly more expensive, $46.99 for a single pack of 120mm fan, $51.99 for the 140mm fan, while the 120mm 3 pack is $149.99. Again, reverse fans are the same price and all of the mentioned fans are available in either black or white color. Honestly, I expected LCD fans to be more expensive and this is quite a nice price for such an innovative product and it's worth mentioning that this time 140 fans are also 28 mm thick and all of them have a 3 year warranty period. So welcome to the LCD era of everything because RGB is not enough anymore. Let me know which fans you are planning on getting and if you like the Lee and Lee fans at all. Sub to the channel, like and share the videos and I'll see you in the next one.